Okay, we're working on a system that can do decentralized water treatment and with solar energy and membrane filtration have clean water in African villages. So this is our solar powered water treatment system. The system is driven by some solar panels that we see here in the background. And these two solar panels will typically provide about 300 watts of DC power to our system. This enables the system to then treat uh, brackish water. Brackish meaning that the water contains salts and other impurities. We can take out viruses, bacteria, other particles in the water, as well as ions like uranium, arsenic, etc. So in this tank is our borehole pump. This takes the brackish water from under the ground and then can pump it up to 100 meters to the surface. Then the water flows firstly through this ultrafiltration membrane here on top in our system. And this is responsible for removing the particles, viruses and bacteria. After that first ultrafiltration membrane, the water looks clear, but can still contain contaminants such as salt. These other elements such as salt are then removed by the nanofiltration membrane that's shown down here below. And then ultimately in our system from dirty water in, we get, cheers, clean water out. In the near future, we're planning on mounting this system inside the four wheel drive trailer that you see behind me, which will be towed by our Land Rover. And this will enable us to bring the system to problematic water sources. So we always need to think about what is actually our role. We are, our role is to generate knowledge, to maybe think ahead and see how the future may look like. And then we communicate this knowledge to different groups of people, industry, people in the villages, sponsors, but also the governments to really and say, okay, things could be quite different here and it's actually affordable. Would really like to set up 10 systems in one region and then see what fails, what works, how to adapt the technology and do this in cooperation with um, people who are willing to support, with sponsors who sponsor some of these systems and cool companies who are able to work with us in making this happen. Yeah, the experience of being in a village after reading about fluoride problems for years, we knew it all, but then we were in a village. I was sitting on the side of a hill with a woman. We were both feeding our babies and we saw that baby had only four toes. We saw the children with crippled legs that were being broken and realigned because of the fluoride. And that evening I could really feel the whole burden of that problem physically. thousand children per day die because of lack of safe water. Technology works, it's simple, it's robust, it's affordable, it's sustainable. Here is the solution.